Hey guys, Gonzo here. It's about 8.30 in the morning. I got off of work. It's been awful foggy. I'm not going to wait any longer. I'm going to make a video, a few videos. I'm going to show you two basic rat sets, maybe three basic rat sets that I use that are easy and they're great for beginners, you know, where you don't have to look real hard and stuff. But I'm going to show you probably a conibear and two foot holds. They're Dukes. Uh, like I said before, I'm sponsored by Mr. Duke, so I got a number one Duke here, 110 Conibear right there, and I got a Duke uh, dog proof. So we'll do a little, I'll do the rat sets today, and then I'll post the uh, Duke dog proof in a few days. But I'm going to show you this basic set, how easy it is, and tell you why I set it here. This is all uh, all cattails in here. This is all a feed bed. See all these good weeds and stuff? And I actually set a trap here every year. I'll catch four or five rats and I'm done. Just, there's rats all over in here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come out here. I'm gonna uh, knock that in the water. I'm gonna put this on my head to show you. here in the feed bed is these rats are going to be swimming all over through here, you know, these trails. So I'm going to take a piece of an apple, which I got right here for, for sight, and I'm going to stick this right back here. I break a little branch off, I poke it through my apple, just like that. I take my apple, I poke it into the bank, there it is. I take my tie, my laundry tie there, for uh, stick my thing through it, make it out, make it big enough to see what I'm doing, I hope. I'm going to take my trap, and you don't need to use these, uh, these railroad plates, pull it tight. Now I got my drowned out here in about a foot and a half of water. Here's my set. Now watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to tuck it right back in here. Right in front of that apple. I'm going to bury my wire, you can't see anything, you open it up a little bit, those muskrats come swimming all over in here, they see it open, they see that apple back there for bait, or for sight, and their smell, I use a little anise around here, or Lennon's muskrat lure, I'll put the lure like up on these right here, and he comes back, he sees that, but right there's the trap, you know, that little outlet right there, that rat gets caught, he shoots out this way, it's deep enough that trap that trap will pull him down and he drones. As long as it ain't freezing here, I'll have a rat every night. That's one basic muskrat set for you. Peace. Alright guys, I'm back. I'm gonna show you a bear set here now. This is gone. I can leave the apple there. But see how this is I can I'm gonna make a bear set here. Where this is all matted down right here. I'm gonna pop this up I'm going to make a perfect hole through here, and when I get done setting this conibear, I'm going to explain to you, I'm going to show you it in there, and explain why it's a good set. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. Uh, I got my cable coming out this way on my, on my drowner. It doesn't need to be a drowner, it just needs to be secured to something because I'm either going to catch a mink in here, which this is a great mink set too. Look at that little hole in there. You know, something swims up this way and then the most likely the animal is going to come from over here and swim around and swim through that hole. I mean, why swim all the way around here to go back there if he can swim right here? And, oh, look at that hole. You just make these yourself. I mean, this is. This is perfect. I, I'm going to take this grass off. you got to camouflage it a little bit. 
but, but look what I did. I, I made that trail myself. You put that trap in there, and when you got it camouflaged, that muskrat ain't ever gonna see that. That mink ain't ever gonna see that. Mink, mink and muskrat go into every little nick and cranny they can. When they come swimming through here, snap. This way, snap. That trap is a killer for both animals, a mink and a muskrat, you know? And you can get animals all over, or uh, apples all over the place, so it doesn't hurt. I mean, you could set this as a blind set to catch muskrats in here. But I always use a little Lennon's lure and an apple. The apple's just for sight. So those are two basic muskrat sets so far. Maybe I'll show you one more with the foothold, but I'm gonna go do a, a dog proof trap now. So what do you think? You guys like that set? I do. I'll have one here later this year. All right guys, here we go again. Uh, this is gonna be the last of my uh, muskrat, my basic muskrat sets I'm showing you. This one's the easiest one uh, for a beginner. If you're somewhere and you can find where there's flat mud here and stuff, I got mink tracks. See, I got some mink tracks right there and stuff. But anyways, there's a log that goes out in the water right here. There's a bridge. I'm nice and close. I've caught muskrats here. The last couple years, I haven't trapped muskrats hard. I'm going to this year because a lot of the other animals ain't paying crap. So this is what I do. I come down. I'm going to throw my weight right out here, right on the other side of the log. But right here where I want to put my trap, I'm going to take my foot. I'm going to move it around. I'm going to make it where the water comes back up in here a little bit more. That was all bank right there crossed here. I'm going to take my trap, my weight's out there. My trap is coming right here. You don't even see it. Take my two apples. I'm gonna put an apple there. I'm gonna put this other apple. I'm gonna grab a stick and I'm just gonna set it up here on a stick. So, a couple apples. Wish I could it'd clear out for you all the mud. But anyways, right there it is. That's how easy you walk down. You know, walk down, slam your foot in there move it around enough to bury your trap you'll catch raccoons in this trap too and you'll catch mink because this is all open right here it's an old old beaver slide from years ago but I come down here I do this every year slam my foot in there I got a anchor going and I'm gone I usually set a trap across there too and a couple more up this way downstream I got mink sets about every three years I come here I didn't trap it last year two years ago I did though so there's my trap you can begin to see it a little bit but anyways that's three basic muskrat sets for you I'm gonna do one uh, DP dog proof I'll post that one on a different day but uh, here we go what the heck we got there look at that bug Ooh, that's ugly I never seen nothing like that before what's oh, a leech ugly Oh, look at all the baby leeches on that leech. That's why it looks like that. Suck. Yeah. All right. Peace out. Hey, guys. It's Gonzo. One last time. Uh, I'm telling you what right now. Go buy Duke products. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be pushing them all year. I've got 330s. I've got 220s. Number 4s. Number 3s. Uh, number twos, one and a half, ones. I got one point one there, right here. Duke DP. You can't beat the price on all these. Duke number one, Duke one ten Conibear. All three of these Duke traps. I mean, they all catch animals. They're all great trap. Don't let anybody fool you. You know, if you want to spend the money and be crazy, go buy what you want. But I'm gonna stick with the Duke product. I'm happy with it. I've always been happy with it, and I'm not changing anytime soon. Thank you, Mr. Duke.